Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn, where we started on a small island, which is 19 by 19. I thought it was 10 by 10, but it wasn't. It's 19 by 19. And we've expanded out to all of this. We've done pretty well so far. So the last challenge we got to do before we cap off this series and start a new series of challenges is to do a dam. Now, no no map is complete without a dam. We're going to make, I'm thinking of making a big dam around here and making a town. Now, I do want to try and make it support 500 dupes, uh, dupes. That's oxygen not, oxygen not included in my head again. 500 beavers. I'm not sure if I'll be able to hit that point, but I am going to try my hardest to get to 500 beavers, make it sustainable, and let's see how big this actual city gets. So this may be a long episode. It may be two parts, but we'll see. So let's continue. The first thing we need to think about is how we're doing this dam. Now, it's going to cost a lot of wood. I have been stockpiling wood in here because we've run out of scrap metal. They are still make, they've still got quite a lot of scrap metal though. Uh, 355, but look how many metal blocks I've got. I've got so many metal blocks. The so first thing we need to do is build this dam. Now I am looking for levees. All right, so I would like for it to be this big. In fact, should we just incorporate the whole of this circle? All right, so I'm going to do a basic dam like this. I don't know if I want to put floodgates all the way, all the way along. I'm not sure just yet. I don't think I need it all the way along. I may, you know what? Let's not, let's not do it all the way along. Let's do it to about there. About there. How many have we got in the middle there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 7 on each side. Lovely. I like it. Okay, that looks relatively okay. I like that. I like that. Let's put some levies back there. And then we're going to make the town. Now I want to see how big a district centre can go up to. But I can't do that. Um, with this water in the way. So it would have been nice if it was in a drought actually, but I don't know when the next drought is going to be. I'm not going to sit here waiting for it. But if I did put that there. Oh, I can put that there. Does it show me? Oh, it does show me the area. Okay, because I need a lot of space. We're going to have 500 uh, beavers. We need a lot of space. So let's see how wide this goes. Okay, so it goes like that. Why does that stop? Because it's not connected. Okay. So it can go up to here, which is great. If I go like that and like that, what are we looking at now? Hmm, we've got a decent area to play with. Now, this doesn't include bends and turns and all that jazz. So it'll mostly be a little bit shorter. But that's absolutely fine, to be honest with you. I like it. I like it. So I guess now it's time to start designing. Let's uh, let's delete all of this. Um... No, I might just leave that there for a bit. I can kind of get gauge on what I'm doing. So obviously we need it off the ground. We are going to have bits in the ground. So if we're going to have 500 uh, beavers, they take about three food and three water per day. We need to last at least 10 days. I think the longest drought on normal is 10 days. So 30 or oh, it will be 1,500 food and water a day times that by 10. So I need 15,000 water and food if I want to survive a drought without any issues. 
And that should also give me a little bit extra to put in reservoirs and stuff like that. Well, in irrigation towers and stuff like that. So, and hopefully with this, we can actually keep it for a long time pouring out so we don't have to worry too much about droughts. So maybe that's a thing. And I kind of want to, hmm, I kind of want to make like rivers going through the town, especially through the um, farming area. So let's let's start designing and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, so this is the farming and tree area that I've thought of. Now, bear with me with this one. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to definitely, definitely try it out. So what I want to do is we have a sort of backup filter here, which is fine. I just thought it looked, it looked nice rather than for utility. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to blow up a line of ground so that whatever pours out of this, and I hope it's an, we have enough water force, but it comes through here, it will stop there and spread along here and slowly find its way out. Now, the only problem I have, and this is the reason why I don't know if it's going to work or not, is because we don't have anything, like we can't put um, a levee on top of a dam. Um, so we can't put a dam down and then put a levee because that's what I wanted to do to block water from this side coming in but any water out here would sort of pour out so the only way I'm thinking of doing it is once you've blown this up is putting a level 2 uh, floodgate and making it like a 1.5 or something and hopefully water is slowly coming out, come out before it floods this area not sure if it's going to work. We're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. But the next thing we need to do is housing. We need to have a nice 500 capacity housing area. Now, I do like putting the towns up on platforms. So I think we're going to keep this town up, up on the platform. Um, where are we going to put the housing? And we don't need this area to be irrigated, to be honest with you. Because we're not growing anything here. It's just this area that needs to be irrigated. But hopefully, this tub of water can last us 10 days. All right, so let's get some platforms down. And maybe we'll put the house in up this side. I, I've done house on this side before. Maybe I'll pull it around here somewhere. So let's get that down here. I do want to make a little entrance into this place and it bugs me that this is not in the middle of this, but that's we, okay. We can go something like that and something like that. So actually this area is going to be an entrance. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be an entrance. We can have a bridge coming out here and then going into there. We can have a nice big park with a big statue. I like that. I like that. And off on to this side somewhere. We can have Alison. Hmm. Got to make sure I get everything correct. So it'll be a bridge going there, onto there. Let's get that bridge up and running. Well, not up and running, but let's get it ready. Uh, where are you? Definitely need a longer one than that. So two should be fine. Actually, I need to bring this forward. So, a two and a one. It's not really a long bridge though, is it? Let's delete some of this. 
I want to make it a bit longer. Like that. Okay. Let's try that. So, how far is this bridge going to be? So, three. And a two. Oh, should I go one more? Because that's going to be a different material, isn't it? It's going to be a gold one. And no, I don't like that. I don't like that. We're going back one more. Which is kind of taking away from the dramatic entrance area that I wanted to make. It still could be quite dramatic. Or I could just shorten this. We'll see like this for now. If I want to bring it forward, I may shorten this bridge. But then that won't line up. Hmm, so many, so many possibilities. So many possibilities. So a three and a three. And then we have, what, a two here? And a one. Nope. Don't start making that. We have a one and a one, I think. Because I keep forgetting that you need to do like this before you connect bridges. Yeah, one and a one. Cool. Why don't you want to go up there? Oh, separate district. We can put the district gate here for now. Yeah, we can put the district gate there. I'm happy with that. All right. So that's the sort of entrance into this area. We're going to have massive production over here. I mean, like, 10 times bigger than that one. I'm going to have house in here and I'll mostly put massive power over there somewhere. So let's get the house and done. So I want it something like this. And I'm going to do something similar to this, but using the bigger houses. So these take nine. So to get 500, we would need at least 51 of them. <laughs> wow, at least 51 of them. Okay, let's put, let's put that down. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what I've come up with. It was the easiest way to do multiple housing. Now, it's not the most prettiest, I agree. I agree, it's not the most prettiest but it is the easiest and, and the most compact way I know. If you know a more compact way, please let me know. But this is 56 uh, houses here, which would be 500 and something. It will be like 501, 503 or some, something ridiculous like that. But the main fact is that we're hitting 500 beavers. Mad. Obviously, I'm going to make it look a little bit more prettier with bushes. Not that we have many sort of decorations we can play around with, but I'll put some stuff somewhere eventually. I may put a fence all the way around here and a little balcony here to look out into the sea and over at the scrap metal over there. Now, that is done. This is going to be such a massive project. We need to do a um, water. We need to get water. <laughs> we need to get water. I'm, I'm just constantly thinking about what needs to go next. So we need water. And we need to be hitting, I can't remember how much I said, I think it was around 3,000 3, water per day. And we need to have, um, no, 1,500 water per day. And we need to have at least 15,000 water in storage at least. So, you know what that means massive massive water supply is that the last bit yep something like that that actually goes out by two so we could do that i do kind of want to keep them the same okay so let's do this massive water production now how much we need we get 300 in storage how would i make 15,000 
that's that's a very simple maths, isn't it? Or well, is that fifty of them? Calculator time. Yes, that is fifty of them. Confirmed by my trusty calculator. Now, water pumps, water pumps. How do you want to do this? Now, we're going to have so many beavers. I'm not even worried about un uh, having enough beavers to cover all the jobs. Because we're going to have so many. We're going to start there. I kind of want to put it on the inside like I did with this one over here. I like this design. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's get rid of these three. Ah, I didn't need to get rid of that. Okay, put that back. And we need to do something like this. And then we need to multiply that by three or four, I guess, like this. And now we've multiplied that, I am, ooh, this is bugging me. Now, if I put one here, it just won't look that great. So there's a few things that's bugging me. <laughs> there's a few things. One, we don't have big pathways. Um, so if I put a pathway like this, that might just look a bit weird. And I wanted to double uh, opening for the gate, but we may not be able to have that. May just be one opening which means I can bring this up by one and then put a fence here like I've done here and then I can put storage along here hopefully large oh that fits in so perfectly oh my but the problem is Ah, that is such a, mm. but I need 50, <laughs> I need 50 of them. Um, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten there. And going back, oh, we're going to run out of space super fast. There may be a point where I get rid of this town, but then, I don't think I think we'll reach around here. Hmm. Oh. So if I, how would I get 50? <sighs> I could put 20 back to back and then 20 back to back here. I think I could do that. I might have to move this all up a bit. There's a chance we might move a lot of this down as well. Maybe change the way this bridge connection works. Because I, I think I need this space here. Okay. Let, let me move this. Okay, so... This is kind of what I've come up with with the water so far. There's 24 water pumps and um, I believe about 24 of these. Let's see, three, six, three, six. Yeah, so 12, 12, okay. 24 uh, storage, which 300 times 24 is like 6,000 and something. About 6,000, no, 7,200. So um, my mass is terrible when I'm recording, forgive me. But yeah, it should be around 7,200 water. That's pretty much half of the water we need to survive a full drought. Now, the saving grace here, the saving grace is that hopefully we won't have to survive a full drought because we'll have backup water here. So maybe that will last us through. Now I'm thinking of moving this bridge uh, down a bit more to give it more space and I might bring this out to have some leisure like rooftops and stuff like that because they're going to need a lot of leisure and I'll mostly bring this down to meet with this and yeah I'm going to let them start doing this 
So this looks like it will be a two-parter because this is massive. Even this is just massive. I can't even imagine the kind of resources that's going to, uh, we're going to go through. Like I've got a fair amount of resources. If we look overall, 1,300 blogs and a lot of this, a lot of this. But boy, oh boy, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to let them do as much as possible and I'll get back to you when I can and we'll uh, conclude, we'll summarize and conclude and say what we're going to do on the next episode. We'll see you guys in a sec. And just like that, it is all done. That that was that was a long time, actually. <laughs> that was a very, very long time. But we are done. We've got some of these buildings were unpaused for a while, so I've got 74 beavers here, 30 un homeless. Because I want them to kind of die out. I'm only trying to keep 27 at the moment. But while they're here, might as well fill up all of this. Look at this. This is some crazy production, water production. Now we fill up 7,000, around 7,500. Pretty, pretty fast. Pretty fast. This is enough for 500 beavers. You know what? Let's go into screenshot mode. It looks a little bit better. Look at that. And I did get a comment about putting platforms and putting roofs on the platforms. And I like that idea. So I may do that here. I may do that in a few places actually. Also, you may have noticed I've extended this out, put some rooftop terraces out there. It's like a outdoor bar, you know? And you know what? I'm kind of digging this indent. I'm kind of digging this indent. Yeah. So I've got a few plans with this bit. This is going to be sort of like an entrance into this capital. And um, hopefully we can make it look really nice. The dam, no, the dam. <laughs> so I've got an underwater passage here that comes out here. We've got floodgates on either side, let water out if we need to. The dam is overfilling, even with all of this open. So I'm going to have to put more floodgates along here because I want to keep it to a point where the setting of 2.5 is enough. Right now, I have to pull it at zero. And then also when it overflows, it overflows into my underwater passage and it floods this whole area, which is not fun. What's happened there? Most of the no stock. Um, so there's, I've got to revise this, this uh, dam quite a bit. And this is pretty much useless. useless. I like the look of it, but it's useless. It just over floods and then floods over into here. But I want to keep it. I want to try and keep it and try and make it work. Um, I put two builders huts just to help things move along super fast since I've got so many unemployed beavers. But for the next episode, we need to make storage and production. So I'm thinking here, we're going to put a massive production area for food and anything to do with wood, basically food and wood. So that'd be uh, planks, cogs, paper, dynamite, um, and books. And here we're going to make a food production because this, look at all this wheat. This is going to make us so much bread. I think we'll be fine with 500 uh, beavers. Here, we're going to put some storage. So that is going to be another big episode tomorrow. But I want to complete it by tomorrow. So hopefully we can get all of that done. Oh, and up here, I'm thinking of putting the power in here. I'm thinking of putting a lot of wheels, some windmills. <clears throat> I think that's a good idea. I'm kind of digging that. And then we just got to make the place look pretty. And then we'll have a town that can survive with 500 beavers. But anyways, guys, that is all I've got time for you for today. I hope to see you on the next episode. I hope you have an amazing day. Peace.